welcome to the Lizard Island Research Station on Australia's Great Barrier Reef. This field site is an ideal place to study the multitudes of organisms that make their homes on the reef. My collaborators and I have come here to study one of the most fascinating animals in the sea, the mantis shrimp. Mantis shrimp biodiversity is concentrated in the western Pacific tropical coral reefs, and over 30 species can be found in the shallow waters around Lizard Island. Mantis shrimp are renowned for their charismatically aggressive behavior and their powerful predatory attack strike, as well as for their spectacularly complex visual systems. Their enlarged eyes scan the environment independently possess an array of 12 types of photoreceptors that provide the mantis shrimp with complex color reception. For comparison, in humans, only three receptor types are involved in color vision. The compound eyes of mantis shrimp are composed of an array of facets, with dorsal and ventral peripheral regions bisected horizontally by six parallel rows of enlarged specialized facets called the midband. Photoreceptors in the midband encompass the majority of spectral diversity in the eye. In each facet, light passes through optical components before entering a series of tiered photoreceptors making up the retina. In the mantis shrimp species Neogonodactylus orstidae, the most distal photoreceptors in the retina have been shown by electrophysiology to be sensitive to at least five discrete wavelength ranges of ultraviolet light making this the most complex ultraviolet photoreceptor array known in nature. This spectral diversity suggests the presence of several visual pigments, the molecules that absorb light and transduce visual signals, with differing wavelengths of maximum absorbance in the ultraviolet range. However, molecular analysis found only two opsins, the protein components of visual pigments, expressed in the retina. These opsins form visual pigments that absorb ultraviolet light maximally around only two wavelength ranges. Surprisingly, five of the six ultraviolet receptor types contain the exact same visual pigment, meaning that the ultraviolet photoreceptor sensitivities are tuned by some other means. We hypothesized that this tuning could be achieved by ultraviolet colored filters, invisible to us and positioned in the optical path of certain facets of the midband. Luckily, we were able to visualize these filters by their weak ultraviolet-stimulated autofluorescence, and we localized them to the optical components that overlie the photoreceptors in the optical path of certain midband rows. These filters block specific wavelength ranges of ultraviolet light from reaching their associated photoreceptors, thus diversifying their spectral sensitivities to produce the full diversity that was observed with electrophysiology. The identity of these ultraviolet filter pigments also came as a surprise. We found the filters to be composed of various mycosporin-like amino acids. Mycosporins are commonly referred to as nature's sunscreens and are usually employed for UV photoprotection in a variety of primarily aquatic animals. However, mantis shrimp uniquely incorporate them into powerful spectral tuning filters, extending and diversifying their preeminently elaborate photoreceptive arsenal. 